For more than two decades, Chris McDees has been serving up fine foods in Colombia. The owner agreed to let us cross into the kitchen with health inspector Kayla Gunyer. She relies heavily on a simple thermometer to ensure that cold foods are kept at the proper temperature. Pasta and salad dressing need to be 41 to 45 degrees. Hot foods like this soup need to reach 140. Before these workers could stand here, they had to sit here in a food handler's course. Uh, temperature danger zones, anywhere between 41 degrees and 140 degrees. Chris McDee's owner, Chris McDonald, says the food handler's classes are invaluable, but he says training is a daily job. Changing out your cutting boards and, and making sure that you've, you know, sanitized your knife before you go on to another project. Um, the, the food in the building should um, obviously be um, up to standards, it's, it's, it, it could be a mistake by a cook, definitely, that could cause a problem. And the food inspection report, he says, is good for him to review to make other changes. So I can even just get a thermometer, wired thermometer and digital clip it onto the front. The restaurant inspection usually takes about an hour and there's a laundry list of things to look at. Does the dishwasher get hot enough? Is there mold in the ice maker? Bleach in a bucket used to wipe off food prep surfaces? Proper labels on foods? And is the staff washing their hands? We are only good regulators if we're good educators. So as long as the environmental health staff is doing a good job of saying not only that something's a violation, but why is it a violation and how can the establishment go about correcting it? So it's not just on the establishment, it's also on my staff. But most people will never see behind the doors of the kitchen. When you're dining out, here's a couple of easy things to look for outside the kitchen. Your silverware, is it clean or is there still food stuck on it? And a red flag on your water glass? Lipstick. I think everyone's had that aha moment when they walked in and thought, I'd rather go hungry than eat here. That likely happened to the customers who reported roaches at two places in the Columbia Mall food court. Famous Cajun Grill and Stir Fry 88 were closed until they cleaned up their act. While seeing roaches will get your attention, Gunyer says she's more concerned about other things you can't see in the kitchen. The roaches were visible, but it's what goes on behind the scenes. Our hot food's hot, our cold food's cold. Food cold. Our employees uh, practicing good food safety techniques. And it's not always just what you see, but also what you smell. Red flags are the smell of a clogged grease trap, rotting food and sewage. Other simple things to look at, the restrooms, the floors and table, and the condiments on the table. If they aren't clean, there could also be a problem with your food.